Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Once again today, I'm working with the cane. A quick comparison, when I used to practice with the staff, the staff was this high. The cane, by comparison, is that high. Now, practicing with a wooden sword, the sword, the samurai sword, the boken, is that high, the cane is above that long. But this is not a sword, this is a piece of wood. So if I treat this like it's a wooden staff, with all the properties of a staff, that makes it much easier for me to use and practice with. Now this particular drill is designed to teach me to be able to kick with the cane. Ideally when I do that, what I would do if I were doing say sliding kicks, is I would simply divest myself of the cane, maybe do a front kick, or an offset, or roundhouse, or side kick. Same thing on the other side. With hands free, not a problem. Just step in, boom. Now I can accomplish the same thing by simply holding the cane in one hand or both hands where I'm able to move in and strike. But if I'm using the cane in the walking position here, the drill that I'm going to be practicing is going to be holding the cane in one hand and kicking with the opposite leg. So if I'm kicking, in this case with my left leg, my left hand is high, my right hand holds here, the cane is safely out of the way. That means that my first kick, the front kick, comes like that. Offset kick, like that. Leaning horse, round kick, and side kick. When I switch over, just like I did yesterday. From here when I'm kicking, the whole idea is that my stomach is tight and firm, my knees are bent, the weight is on the balls of my feet. Front kick, Offset, round kick, or side kick. The whole idea is that it's a powerful, strong, effective movement. Regardless of which leg I'm using. From here, do the same way. The whole idea is that if I'm kicking with or without the cave, it shouldn't make any difference. That's a sliding kick with the cane. 